first reported by the WBRZ investigative unit. Four suspects were arrested tied to the rape of LSU student Madison Brooks before her death. One of them a minor. Brooks was killed on Burbank Drive after she was hit by a car. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto here now with details of what happened. Michael and Sylvia, the teens are booked with third-degree rape in Louisiana. That's when a victim is so intoxicated they cannot consent to sex. Tonight, those representing the teens and a man booked acknowledged everyone was drunk that night and left after a night of partying. But they say the charges are unwarranted. The Madison Brooks death investigation took a dramatic turn Monday when the WBRZ investigative unit confirmed four people were arrested after being tied to an alleged rape before her death. 18-year-old Kavayan Washington and a 17-year-old boy were both booked with third-degree rape. 18-year-old Kaysen Carver and 28-year-old Everett Lee, both are accused of being a principal to the alleged rape. Washington spoke to the WBRZ investigative unit on the phone before he surrendered. He admitted to having sex with Brooks and claimed it was consensual. She left the bar with... Before. His attorney, Ron Haley, spoke to us on camera a short time ago. This is not a rape. Brooks was killed on Burbank Drive when she was hit by a car about 3 a.m. on January 15th. She left Reggie's in Tigerland with four males. Washington said he had sex with her and that a teenage boy under the age of 18 also engaged in sex with Brooks. That teen was booked into juvenile detention on Sunday. All those arrested reportedly admitted they had been drinking heavily when they left the bar. I do multiple underage kids walk into a bar here in Baton Rouge and get intoxicated to the point where they all leave there willingly from the videos that we saw. But how are they even in this establishment drinking? Uh, for us, that's a problem because if this establishment had followed the, the state law and not gave these minors, not minors, but gave these underage people uh, drinks. I don't believe that we're sitting here talking about none of this. The NAACP and Haley say there are no winners in this case, but they say their clients have video proof that refutes the rape claims, and they are prepared to present it if needed. I hope the community understands that we're not taking a position on anything pertaining to race because race has nothing to do with this. Uh, this is about right and wrong and whether or not uh, the sheriff's department by charging all four young men, one of which is white, with the crime that they did not commit. We reached out to Reggie's for a comment on this story. We have not heard back. LSU released a statement taking aim at those bars serving alcohol to underage patrons. William Tate said in part, our action plan starts with a deep and relentless focus on any establishment that profits off of our students by providing alcohol to underage individuals. In the coming days, we will call a meeting with these business owners to discuss how their responsibilities directly impact the safety of our students. We will work openly against any business that doesn't join us in efforts towards creating a safer environment for our students. Enough is enough. Michael.